strength and conditioning coach, Phil Daru. Phil is a student of strength and body movement. You know, not just getting strong, but efficient. Heavy that guy's stuff. very respected. Highly respected guy. Yeah, he's a good dude, man. He's helped me out a lot. Go. Press. Hold, hold, back up. Hit it. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Out. A lot of people I know want to just get after it. They don't even have like basic skills. I think that's what blows people away is we don't come out and do all this sexy shit. Literally do the basics for hours and hours and hours, weeks and weeks on end. It pays dividends when we do go overseas and we're put in those situations. You're reacting the way you should be. Stand tall, up, go, go, squeeze. Perfect, relax. Are you doing back squats? Yeah. Eliminate them. Because right now, this isn't gonna be good for you. Under load over time, you're rounding that sacrum and it's hitting every time. You want each spinal segment to go over the train tracks optimally. You see how it goes over one by one by one. When you have that rounding, it doesn't go through optimally. You wanna maintain stability in the lumbar and sacrum. So we're utilizing oxygen, desaturating it, and then making sure that he's staying and maintaining some power output right after on the kettlebell swings. Full go. Go, finish it up strong. Come on, go! You being the person that you are, being the competitor, the athlete, and the actual fighter, and with the fighter's mentality, you gonna fight anybody. Yeah. It'll probably take somebody like myself and other coaches to be like, nah, we're gonna do it like this. That's the part, right? and I think that's what I'm trying to learn now, is to let other people do their jobs. Because you're right, if it was up to me, I want the scariest, toughest fight. What's the most important thing ways do for boxers? The most important thing, we well, gotta look at physics. Mathematics, biomechanics, mm -hmm. everything that you do inside of a weight room, you're just adding weight or resistance training to the movements that is going to be beneficial for you inside the ring. If I'm not strong enough to withstand powerful shots or when I throw a shot and my joints aren't capable of that load, you tend to get injured because you didn't build armor around your body to be able to produce that force at a safe manner. So if you don't have the stability, if you don't have the mobility, and if you don't have the integrity of each joint capsule, you're going to have some issues.